An anti-gay Texas judge will marry same-sex couples, but only after he tells them how much he hates them. Now, um, okay, so this story, this story is fun. Um, this judge uh, goes is uh, named Judge James D. Piazza, and he recently stated that he will comply uh, with the recent SCOTUS decision uh, declaring same-sex marriage legal everywhere. Now, uh, in an official statement from D. Piazza's website, he writes, The Supreme Court of the United States ruling on June 26 has legalized marriage in all 50 states regardless of gender. The result of this ruling has not changed Judge D. Piazza's personal convictions on marriage, but has changed the way he is now conducting ceremonies. Judge D. Piazza will no longer be providing marriage ceremonies in the traditional manner. The ceremony will strictly be a witnessing to the declaration of marriage presented by judge uh, by the judge by both parties under the law of the state of Texas. The form also says that no pictures allowed. No pictures in my courtroom. Photography is now banned during ceremonies in his courtroom and states that before the judge will officiate them, couples, and this is the most egregious part, couples must sign an acknowledgement saying this. While we may not necessarily agree with we accept Judge Di Piazza's position on same-sex marriages. Accept the conditions expressed above and understand that there will be no discussion regarding his position before, during, or after the ceremony. Bitter. Much. So he also sent a statement to WAFAATV. Uh, I'm sorry, WFAATV in uh, Denton saying that it is my personal belief that individuals who want to conduct a marriage ceremony understand my convictions. If it was me, I would prefer to have someone who was in agreement with me. Well, hey, at least he's honest about sucking the joy out of people's uh, most happiest days, more of their special days. Now, I'm not saying he has to like doing same-sex marriages, but the form, that's going too far. And then according to legal experts, might not even be constitutional. Now, uh, this comes from Catherine Frank. She is the director of the Public Rights Private Conscience Project at Columbia University's Law School. Now, she talked to the Texas Observer about this, and she told them, I think it's an interesting innovation in trying to hold your nose and do your job by making everybody else hold your nose as well. It's creative, but I don't imagine it will stand up in court. <laughs> she also says, even for a heterosexual couple that's getting married and D. P uh, and D. Piazza is not opposed to their marriage, the only way they can get married is to acknowledge that he doesn't want to marry gay people. I could see straight people being offended. She also, uh, f uh, her final thought on this one, is she says that one can't force those qualified for a particular public benefit to accept an insult to receive that benefit. So basically, we know this guy's a bigot. We know he doesn't want to marry gay people. He's only doing it in order to keep his job. But look at it this way. Has he ever made a heterosexual uh, couple sign a form when it comes to maybe the second or third marriage? Or divorce? What about adulterers? Fornicators? What about them? What about people who eat shrimp? Hmm. If you have strong, such strong religious convictions based on Leviticus, based on the Bible, right, which is where all these rules come from, then why aren't you making everyone sign an acknowledgement of how much God hates seafood? It's an abomination, right? No worse in Leviticus than lying with a man or wearing mixed fibers. This is ridiculous. Is it that hard to do your job without slapping people in the face while doing it? Look, you don't have to like it, right? You don't have to like same-sex marriage. You can rage about it on your personal time. But when you're on the bench, when you're doing your job, you need to show everyone, everyone, no matter who, who comes through your door, you need to show everyone the same sort of dignity and respect that you would give anyone else.